this video, um, we're just going to have a brief look at preparing a trace. So I'm going to shoot over to the computer and just show you simply how to simplify a drawing using a stamp tool. Um, one of the other tools that you might want to look at is flocking. And there's a couple of other methods that you can use. And if you like Photoshop, you can use a filter uh, to be able to uh, easily simplify a uh, photo quality image into a basic line diagram. But this is a very, very simple, quick solution, and I hope you find it helpful. What we're going to look at here is um, some uh, question that I've been uh, getting quite often from students as to how do you go about doing a trace when the picture is extremely complex. So for example on the screen you can see we have um, this picture of a lion and what is the easiest way to make it simple to do the trace. Um, so I'm just going to show you a very basic trick. Um, that can be quite helpful. So let's put this at 50% so that you can see better. Okay, so um, I'm going to make a duplicate copy. So I'm going to go to Control C, Control V. And then what I'm going to do is just move the original out the way and put the copy over here closer to you so you can see better what I'm going to do. Okay, so um, all I'm going to do is just a very, very basic thing. Um, is um, I can uh, increase the contrast a little bit. I can lighten the picture up. That'll help a lot to get more detail in, uh, especially in the darker areas. Um, and, uh, and But we can just use a simple tool. So let's just give this a bit of a go. So I'll try lightening it up first. So I'm going to uh, pick white. Okay, uh, there we go. And then I'm going to get a brush. And I'm going to use my favorite brush. You, that you guys that know me know that my favorite brush is this one in the center, the colorizing brush. Um, I'm going to make sure it's at 60%, which is what I always do, and I make it as big as possible. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in the darker areas and just lighten the picture up a little bit um, where uh, it's a little bit dark. And um, so I'm just going to just work just on the dark sections. I'm going to stay away from the light sections completely. Um, just in these dark sections. Yeah, sort of around there. I'm just lighting it up a little bit. Okay, not too much. Okay, um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, click on the effects button over here on the side. Okay, so that's over here. Click on effects. And uh, on the uh, effects bar, I'm going to choose a stamp, which is down by the S's. Okay, so basically this creates a uh, 2D picture, as you can see, it's black and white. And the main reason for choosing this is that our trace is done on tracing paper, and the tracing paper is only one color, and we only put one color onto the skin. So that's really what we want, is we want a stamp but we want a reasonable amount of detail. So you click on the details section, and in the details section, uh, you have a few choices. And depending on your picture, you can adjust these quite a lot. So I've put the transparency at 50%, and again, you can play with that. Um, and the light dark balance, I've got it really low, down at four, and you can try around three, four, five, somewhere around there. Uh, but it goes all the way up to 100. And then the smoothness, I, I, can, uh, I want it pretty accurate. So I want the smoothness pretty, pretty small as well. Okay, so it's quite simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and choose a color. And uh, I'm just going to choose, let's say, fire engine red, for example. No, we won't. We'll do a blue because our tracing paper is more or less sort of purpley blue color okay so and now I'm going to click apply okay and there it, it turns the um, picture into a uh, two-dimensional image um, so we've just got this um, highlighted all the dark bits so 
that would produce either if you've got a stencil printer to print a nice stencil or a trace or otherwise if you're going to do it manually you would just do all those dark pieces and that will give you a pretty good trace it's not not much different from what you would do if you had just printed out the black and gray picture and um, did it yourself um, but when you're starting out sometimes it's a little bit difficult trying to uh, see where, where the trace should be so hopefully this uh, little video is helpful and that um, it helps you to do better traces I hope you've enjoyed this video and that the information was helpful and uh, you're able to use it going forward and it's a stepping stone for you to improve and to get better as quickly as possible. All the best.